Hey everybody, welcome to another Star Wars action figure review. Next up for you today, I'm going to be giving you guys a look at another Jabba's Palace figure. This is one of my personal favorites from the Saga Collection. And that is Princess Leia. Now this is her in her Bausch outfit, disguise. See right here. So as always, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. As I said, this is the Saga Collection. She is number one. You do have a very nice picture. Of Leia and her Bausch outfit. She's probably one of my favorite characters in the whole saga. Um, there is glare, but you can see Han and Carbonite right here in Jabba's Palace. Up top, you do just have the Star Wars logo and Return of the Jedi up on the left hand side. Um, on the back, you do have one of those character profiles on movie stills. So you can pause that and take a look at if you can read it. Right there, you do have a character picture of the figure, and you do have the other wave, which I just did a review on Chewbacca. And as I said in my previous video, I did a Barada review, so if you want to check that out, you can on my channel. All right, now let's just take a quick look at the figure. See. Definitely a great figure, I'm very glad to have it in my collection, which was a bit odd that I didn't have it, you know. In prior years, so I'm very fortunate to get it now. I got it at a pretty good deal. As always, we're gonna take a look at his accessories, or her accessories. Sorry, uh, she does come with a hologram, which, in my case, I did get a uh, Rebel Fleet Trooper in red, so the Rebel logo on the bottom. Now, the reason I say in her case is because I do believe these are random. You know. I've been getting a lot of doubles and stuff, like the same one in different figures, so I think these are all random. So yeah, in my case, I did get this. I might get another one, who knows. But yeah. Uh, other accessories, she does come with this type of, uh, I, I, you know, I don't know what this is. It could be a gun, a staff, I'm not entirely sure. But it does look pretty movie accurate. You know, I have to take a look at the movie to see how accurate it is, but it does seem accurate. It's painted pretty nice in like a goldish material does shine very nice especially in the light uh, she does come with her stand which says Princess Leia and her Bosch disguise as well as Return of the Jedi on the bottom she does come with the removable helmet which I'll be talking about in just a bit yeah. and possibly my favorite accessory of this entire thing and possibly one of my favorite accessories in all the Saga collection figures I own is the fact that she gets a thermal detonator but the coolest part about the thermal detonator is that it's held on by a peg you can see right here very very tiny accessory great details it paints it are very nice so you can see it does have the peg this is for that scene specifically where Jabba asks why should he pay her 50,000 for um, Chewbacca and then C C3PO translates that you know she has a thermal detonator so everybody has like a panic attack so this is very cool I do like it this is probably possibly my favorite scene in uh, Jabba's Palace. This is very cool. <clears throat> All right, now let's just take a quick look at the helmet. Where we talk about the head scope. This is done very nice. It does have a lot of good paint applications. So you got uh, black for the visors. You have some silver in the front as well as brown. The top is molded very nice with some good weathering. So you see here in silver and like a bluish touch to it. This is, the helmet's very nice, and it does fit on her head very well, too. Now, the head sculpt, it doesn't look like Carrie Fisher, to be quite blunt, but I don't plan on having this figure without the helmet. So, the mold is nice, it just doesn't look like Carrie Fisher, and the hair is braided very nice. You see, it drapes over her shoulder very well, so that's good. As you can see, let's put the helmet back on. Her chest has a ton of detail. Uh, especially paint wise the paint is done very nice you see you have some red and gold in the middle as well as some dark brown you have good molding in the inside of her straps you see it's like a lighter brown the bandolier and the pouches are done very nice and silver and it does go all the way around which is attached also to a cape I'm not sure what this is it just drapes over but it is molded on it's not removable but it's pretty nice, and you do have two silver canisters, which are done very well. You see, a lot of detail, good um, molding and paintwork on the boots 
and her pants are done very nice. And uh, the wrists, like the forearms, also do have good molding. They even did some silver applications right here for the top of her hand, which is also done very nice. Um, quick run through of articulation. It's not the best. She does have a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. Uh, my only complaint would be this arm. It's not a ball jointed elbow because you kind of have the figure stuck in this pose. Can't really have them in any other one. But this is my favorite one, so I can't really complain too much about that. But it does affect the figure. The figure does stand very well with the ball hinged ankles so you're not gonna have a problem standing this figure and this figure does look great next to Chewbacca which I just did a review on him okay. looks great as the prisoner for that scene See, very nicely done I do commend Hasbro for it it's very cool and I do enjoy it right. so I hope you guys found this review helpful I'll be doing another Return of the Jedi figure after this, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. So I guess I'll see you on the next video.